So, so to explain how to use vertical shifts of sine and cosine curves. So we first need to understand uh, the function that we're looking at, which is, uh, as you can see, uh, f of x, or we can do, use g of x. g of x equals d plus a cos, uh, which is uh, the cos of bx minus c. Okay, so as an example, we have gx uh, equals 2 cos pi x plus 1. The amplitude is going to be what a is. It's always the uh, exact number. So in this example, 2 is the amplitude. Uh, a period, whenever we use it, is 2 pi over b. So as an example, as I said, 2 pi over b is going to be 2 pi over pi, which equals 2. On a scale, we're going to take that 2 and divide it by 4, and that will give us our x scale, or our distance um, between critical points. Uh, the start will be pi x, pi x equals 0, uh, which means x equals 0. At the end point, we have pi x equals 2 pi, or x equals 2. Uh, then we have, as that, an example of uh, well, if we're using our example, the plus one is going to be our vertical shift. So we're going to move this shift upwards. So as you can see, the amplitude would be uh, moved up by one or moved down. It depends. In this case, it's going to be moved up. Our amplitude over here is going to be a positive number before we uh, make it the exact number. Uh, over here, as a second example, if we take the uh, f of x, uh, which would be still the same, but we're using sine in this case. Um, we have f of x equals 2 minus sine by 2 pi x over 3. Amplitude is going to be 1, but because it's a negative 1, we're going to flip it, the uh, starting point over x. The period 2 pi over b is still going to be uh, the same. In this example, we have 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 2 pi over 3, which would, to simplify, you just multiply um, by 3 over 2 pi on each side and get 3. Our x scale uh, or distance between the critical points is going to be 3 divided by 4. So our vertical shift is going to be 2 because we have a plus 2 all the way at the front of the function. Tricked you there because we put it out front instead of behind. Uh, and uh, you know, start point would be 2 pi x over 3 equals 0, so x would equal 0. And the end point would be 2 pi x over 3 equals 2 pi, x equals 3.